Step one, get X or Y alone. And it doesn't matter what you get alone, um, but I'm gonna go for this one. Oh, but let's first call this equation one and equation two. So I'm gonna take equation one and I'm gonna rearrange it. So we're gonna have, let me just write it down here first. And I'm gonna try to get that Y alone because it's so nice and easy to get. It's by itself already. So you just have to move stuff to the other side. So it's gonna be five X minus three. Now, because we've rearranged it to make a brand new equation, we'll call this number three, just to help the teacher who's marking understand what's going on. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug or substitute number three into the equation that we haven't used yet. You're not gonna plug it into number one because you've already used that one, right? You already used it over here. You're gonna plug it into the other equation, so we're gonna plug it into number two. So what does this actually mean? You're gonna take this expression, which says that y is equal to five x minus three, and you're gonna replace all the y's with that. So it's gonna now look like this. 5x minus 3 minus 3x squared equals to 6x minus 7. Can you see what we've done? Let's go through this slowly together so you understand. Uh, step one was to get y alone. So I took this equation and I wrote it over here again. And then I just rearranged it a little bit to get the y completely alone. I then took that expression and I, it says that y is equal to 5x minus 3, and so I replace this y with 5x minus 3, and that's what we can see over here. Everything else is the same. Now we can go ahead and solve. So I'm going to take everything to the right, and so we're going to end up with 3x squared plus 6x minus 5x minus 7 plus 3. And so that's going to be 3x squared plus x minus 4. I'm going to use the quadratic formula now. Oh, nice answers. X equals to one or X equals to negative four over three. Now we know that negative four over three in decimals is negative, is actually negative 1.33. But when we fill in the X equals to minus four over three into the other equation, I would recommend using the fraction because it's the most accurate. You don't want to round off and then plug it into the Y. Okay, so we found our X answers. Now we need to go get our Y answers. And the one that we use is this one here. It's so nice and easy. So we can say that if X equals to one, then Y would be equal to five times one minus three. And so Y would be equal to two. Then if X equals to negative 4 over 3, then y would be equal to 5 times negative 4 over 3 minus 3, and that gives us negative 9 comma 6, 7. Okay, so there we're done. So our final answers are the following. So when x is 1, then y was 2. Or when x was, now we can use the decimal, minus 1.33, then y was negative 9 0.67. And so there's the answers.